Thomas and friends making tracks to great destinations. Surrounded by beautiful blue seas, fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams, and lots of trees where the birds sing. There are windmills and a coal mine, and docks where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that? Puffing down the track. It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Soda. Toby is a steam tram who works on the Farquhar branch with Thomas and Percy. He takes workmen to and from the quarry on the branch line and collects stone from there to take around the island. Having once nearly been scrapped, he is always happy to work. Recently, however, Toby had been growing tired of his normal work, having done it for so long. You know, I'm getting tired of my usual jobs. It's the same thing every day, to and from the quarry. Sounds like you need a change. Thomas got his break when he went to restore Great Waterton. And Gordon got his when he went to London. Don't worry, Toby. I heard a rumor from the big engines that Sir Topham had is planning to make an extension to our branch line. Maybe you'll get a new opportunity then. Of course, Sir Topham Hatt would probably choose a younger engine like me or Thomas. Uh, Percy, I don't see how this will make Toby feel any better. Oh, well, except for you, Toby. You're only kind of old. There you go, Percy. Problem solved. Uh, now, I really doubt Sir Top Matt will let me run the new extension. That's the spirit, Toby. Dear Lord Harry, and all that is... I'll see you two around. Toby went on and on about how he wanted a change. The trucks were starting to get bored of it. You know, Toby, you're lucky. You were saved from scrap and get to work here. Why all the complaining about needing change? Everyone needs change once in a while, and you're lucky too, you know. You are also really useful, and you get change all the time. Different lines, different loads, you have some good lives. Now that gave the trucks something to think about. Well... Except for Scruffy, he was too busy yelling at rocks to notice. The stupid rock! The days went by, and while Toby and the other engines still did their usual jobs, they noticed that supplies for a railway were being taken up the line as well. James and Edward hauled the trains from the harbor to the branch line, where one of them would then take trips to deliver the supplies. Oh joy, more freight trains on a run-down old line with a run-down old Edward. Gee, James, really flattering. Oh no, Edward's got a flat tire? This is why I've asked Sir Tom Hatt to take the televisions down at the big station. Too much television will rot the brain. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, Percy, you're clear to take the sleepers up the line now. I'll be going there soon with the rails. No sleep for me. I'm on it. Percy, you never fail to amaze me. Look, James, I may not be the smartest, but me and Thomas know how to get the job done. Corporation! Wait, do it again. I wasn't looking. And thus, the clock of railway evolution chuffs backwards. Well, if I've had enough of this, good luck, Edward. <laughs> Say, Percy, what's wrong with Toby? Oh, he's just growing tired of his usual work. 
He's hoping to be able to run the new line extension. Well, that would be a nice change. I think Toby deserves it. And same do I. Hey, Edward, you left your lamp on. <laughs> but I don't... Hey! Maybe you deserve some change too, huh, Edward? That would be nice. The following night, Sir Topham Hat came to the Branch Line Sheds to make an announcement. Now I know you might be wondering why you've been collecting supplies for building a railway. As Thomas may have already figured out, I'm creating a new extension to your branch line into a distant town. So we're going the distance now, huh? Yes indeed, Thomas. The line will be completed ahead of schedule, and you will all run your services up to there. How wonderful! Do you know what we'll be doing up there, sir? The railway board has a few ideas in mind, but we will have all the details figured out very soon. The three engines were very excited. As the weeks passed by, the opening to the new extension came and went, and poor Toby was still feeling sad. He hadn't gotten anything special, and he hadn't even been assigned any trains on the new extension. As Sir Topham Hat was cleaning up his office for the night, he had been thinking about the extension. Mm. Toby's been acting rather odd lately. He's never a quiet or somber sort. I always find him cracking a smile with his friends about something. I still don't have many services figured out on that new extension. Yes, yes, I know. That's my problem. I can sort it out, I promise. Now I... Oh, bother that telephone. <clears throat> Hello? Sir Topham Hat, an engine wants to speak to you. It better not be James complaining about all those movie posters at the stations again, dear. Uh, no, 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 sir. Oh, Edward wants to suggest something. Well, I'll be at Natford right away. What's that, boy? You want a treat? Well, let me just... No, Gremlin, bad! Well, actually, carry on. Now I won't have to worry about that telephone anymore. <laughs> Hopefully Sir Topham Hat will listen to my complaints about the posters. What's your problem with them, James? The railway collects some of the proceeds from advertising those films. But we can't even see them. It's not like... Well, it's not like we're one of those cars that can just drive into theaters. Thomas drove into a station master's house once. Percy, that doesn't... Uh, achoo! Yeah, there's a lot of broken parts. Sorry, mate, you're due for the works, I'm afraid. Fantastic. <laughs> James, don't even. <gasps> Hold on, shut up, he's here. Well then, Edward, whatever is on your mind. Well, sir, Toby has been feeling very unhappy. And old, sir. Uh, yes, Percy, and old. But he's been sad. He hasn't had much of a change recently, and he needs his big break. Huh, <laughs> big break. <laughs> Broken up, <laughs> Scrap. You suck. Mm. Nice impression, Henry, but let me handle it. Sir, James is telling Henry he's bound for scrap. Dude! James, just leave. I'll deal with you later. Maybe a one-on-one -on -one will finally get you to listen to me. Later, losers. <clears throat> Back to the matter at hand. I've seen how Toby's been acting, and I've been trying to think of something to do about it. Problem is, no good ideas have, for lack of better terms, have uh, flown into my funnel. And that's why I wanted to talk to you, sir. The Vickers restored the church in the town the new extension runs to and is looking for an engine to run the services to it. And I thought Toby would be just the engine for the job. His cow catchers will keep the people safe. A splendid idea, you two. I'll get it all arranged first thing in the morning. In that case, it's off to work with you all. Diesel, take care of Henry, please. Of course, sir. Toby! Toby, wake up! We have important news! What? What's going on? Come on, old chap. Sir Topham Hat has a surprise for you. He does? I wonder what it could be. Toby! 
Toby collected a coach he had never seen before. It was a cool Caledonian blue with white accents. He then took it to the stations along the line, before heading all the way up past the last station to the new extension. I wonder where I'm heading. It's not like people fancy breakfast picnics. <laughs> Look up ahead, Toby. Oh, a quaint little church at the end of the line. That must be it. Toby was delighted. He pulled up alongside the church and saw Sir Top Matt waiting there. Good morning and welcome to our fine church. I hope your journey here with Toby was a pleasant one. The passengers disembarked the train and Sir Top Matt turned to Toby. Now I know you've needed a change, Toby, and after a suggestion from Edward and the Vicar of Wellsworth, I thought up this new church service for you. Thank you, sir. This is just the type of change I've been needing. And every Sunday afterwards, Toby would take people to and from the church at the top of the line. He never gets bored with his work now, and is pleased to have the church service line all to his own. Seaside just to avoid the lights We might be 